what's up i may look a little bit different i don't know it's close of halloween so i'm just kidding so just try something new but i am back with a new video and this week's video is going to be really interesting because i am talking about hairstyles it's a topic that you guys seem to really enjoy so i decided to get back at it again for this period of school and today i'm going to be showing you nine different hairstyles for school and all of them are heatless so it's really easy and quick and the whole message of this video will be about keeping your hair you know healthy and shiny in its natural state. To help me with that, I am using products by Isalon. Isalon is a brand for hair, all hair types. And I use products like conditioners and hair masks and creams to keep your hair healthy and shiny and looking its best. This video is sponsored by them. I decided to mention it before we start talking about it any further, but they were kind enough to provide you guys a coupon code. I say coupon code really weird. Coupon code. Okay. And you guys are not ready for this. Are you ready? You guys are going to receive 50% off any product by them that I talk about in this video and you guys can also get just three little products for $15 if you like check down below to see how and yeah that's all I wanted to say before we started this video and with that I will leave you guys with the hairstyles I hope you guys enjoy give it a big thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel down below so you can keep up with the videos that I upload so it will be sent to your newsfeed every time that I post one and that's all that I wanted to say I think so I will see you guys next week with a new video this is my natural hair. I just scrunched it up while it was still wet. I just got off the shower and in the shower I use this nourishing hair mask. It's salon professional. All of e-salon products are and it's color safe which is perfect for me because I just finished dyeing my hair and then I also use my leave-in conditioner. Um, while I am brushing my hair I put this on first so I can facilitate you know like easing off the tangles so I can brush it easier. I also use a defining cream to really define the curls that I used to have but now I don't really have them and it just makes my hair look really wavy and natural I'm loving Isalon products so far because they use really natural ingredients such as extracts and oils to give the hair the extra protein and nourishment help which is leaving my hair really healthy looking. So I definitely took the human guinea pig rule to test these products out and tell you that they are worth a try if you're looking for salon professional help for your hair at home. So for the first hairstyle, um, it is the half up, half down man bun. And for that, I'm placing uh, these 24 inch extensions on my hair. They just clip in, so it's really easy and I just braided them. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just braided them, so that's why they look very textured and very natural looking. But you obviously don't need to go for the extension option like I did. I just use the extensions to give me an extra boost of volume and length. Because whenever I do certain hairstyles, I always like to have my hair really long. And yeah, I've just been liking that look, so that's what I chose to do. And then I divided my hair up on my crown. And then I'm just twisting into a little small bun bun like a man bun and pinning it up with bobby pins i'm not using an elastic because or else it'll take away the volume and just like scrunch it up too much and then later i am smoothing away my baby hairs because i got a bad case of it and a little beauty secret that i do is i take eyeshadow like dark brown that matches my hair and then i just color in like the mini ball spots that i have just to make my hairline you know more fuller and this is the final look Next up, we're gonna divide our hair down the middle and I left my extensions in just because I really like this hairstyle with long hair and all we're gonna do is French braid down the two sides and this hairstyle is perfect if you want your hair or your bangs out of your face. After that, I just secured the braid with a hair elastic and I tucked it behind my ear. I didn't use any bobby pins. It was just like secured in there pretty well and yeah, I freaking love this hairstyle so much. I use it when I don't really know what to do with my hair but i want something pretty and easy which is really nice to do in the morning if you are running late for school but still want to look cute
Next up, we are going to work with the extensions again, but this time I'm going to change the direction they're facing because we are going to do a very messy voluminous bun. And I love using my extensions for this because if I just do it with my own hair, it doesn't really look that full and voluminous. So I love using my extensions for this. And then I am just gathering all my hair and making it all clean and all. Then I'm just, you know, turning it around and around and around like you would in a normal bun and then i didn't use an elastic for this because i don't like to really scrunch it up so i just use bobby pins and it's really secure in there another isalon product that i'm currently obsessing over with and i use it so much is this smoothing cream it's like a gel consistency and it's really lightweight it's just to tame and you know give that hair a polish finish if you're doing like a sleek look but i love using it to tame my baby hair and my flyaways because i have a lot of that so we are working with the middle part again. I feel like it looks best on me, but you can feel free to try out whatever you want. I am just, you know, warning you because you're going to be seeing a lot of middle parts in this video. But we're kind of doing like cornrows down um, our heads. <laughs> and I got this hairstyle from Colleen because she wears it so much. But it's an awesome way to take your hair and your bangs out of your face and still have your hair down like the last hairstyle. And I secure it with bobby pins and it looks so cute and I love it. And I'm taking my extensions out just to give some variety in this video. But I'm using my Root Lift Spray from Isola again. It increases volume for people that have fine hair like me. And it gives like an all day body. And what I really like about it is that it's doesn't leave the hair with a sticky and crunchy finish and like all of the products is infused with strengthening amino acids and very rich proteins and nutrients for your hair Next hairstyle is definitely for that second or third day old hair because we're going to put it up. We're just going to take our little bangs out and side parts just to frame the face. And the split end sealer is perfect for this job because since we're split ends and you know the ends of our hair is going to be more visible. This is really going to give the appearance of renewed hair and, and, reduce the, and reduce any signs of breakage. And just minimize the look of like tangled and frazzled hair that we all hate. And if you want to be more daring and add a little bit of more charm to that hairstyle, you can always opt for a little bandana. And I don't know why I didn't do this before, but it looks so cute and different as an accessory. And yeah, I'm loving this look. Then this hairstyle will definitely be for one of those last days of clean hair. And to achieve this hairstyle, I'm using my smoothing balm. It is concentrated gel cream like I used in my last hairstyle, my bun hairstyle. But this bun hairstyle is going to be much more sleek, which I love the look of. Um, I love like sleek hair as much as I love voluminous hair. And I'm just wrapping my hair around my head really tightly. And to keep it in there pretty good, this time I'm going to use a elastic. And then I'm just going to fix it using bobby pins and, you know, make it as sleek as I can. And for the last hairstyle, some of you guys will probably find this hard, but so did I before I practiced a lot, but it's Dutch braids. Actually, this is just French braids because Dutch braids is supposed to be like the braid outside, but I'm doing the braid inside because I haven't learned the other way yet. But yeah, practice makes perfect. I've already done this like five times already, so I don't consider myself a pro, but I definitely like make it look good. You know, it looks decent. So yeah, there's a plenty of YouTube videos here that will show you exactly how to do it but i'm just fast forwarding this because i know that some of you guys already know french braids and i don't want to make this video way longer than it is already then i'm securing it with elastics but like black or transparent ones so you don't actually see it because that's when it looks the best and it looks really sleek and yeah those were all the hairstyles i hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to check out all the links below for e-salon and i will catch up with you guys later bye